Hey everyone, wanted to show you a new feature that we've just added to the REI Rail platform called connectors. And what a connector is, is a neat way to send data out of REI Rail into your CRM. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're gonna go to settings, and then next we're gonna go to connectors. And we're gonna add a brand new connector. So we're gonna click this blue button here. This is add a new connector and you'll see the new connector screen here. And we're gonna select post and you'll see a callback URL field here. Now we're gonna get back to that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on over to Zapier and we're gonna set up a zap. So inside my Zapier, I choose zaps and I'm gonna create new zap by clicking the button, make a new zap. And next, what we'll see is I'm gonna to start to search through the apps here in Zapier, and I'm gonna look for webhooks by Zapier. So I'm gonna choose webhooks by Zapier, and next what I'm gonna do is choose catch hook. All right, so if that's what you wanna choose, I'm gonna hit the continue button next. Now this custom webhook URL, that's what we want. So we're gonna copy it, and we're gonna head on back over to REI Rail where we were setting up our connector, and paste it where it says callback URL. All right, so that's our callback URL for this connector. And we're gonna choose the basic integration. And I'm gonna just create a name for this. So what I wanna to send to Zapier um, is my seller leads. And eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this to Podio. So I'm gonna name it seller leads to Podio from Zapier. And I'm gonna create a label. This is what I'll see inside of REI Rail, send seller lead to Podio. Okay, that's what the button is gonna say inside REI Rail. And I can even make a color for it, all right? Now, connectors are gonna show up just like tags inside of REI Rail. So I make the color red, and I'm gonna choose strip country codes from phone number, so that takes the plus one off the phone number. And I'm gonna to start to add all of the fields that I once sent to my Podio. So first name, last name, campaign. Now, you'll notice when I actually click on mailing address, it's gonna add all of the parts of the address from street address, city, state, and zip, and also the same for property address. Now, when I add my phone numbers, I can add them individually, the first three of my emails or the first three of my phone numbers. Now, I'm going to save this connector, and now that it's saved, I'm going to head back over to Zapier, and I'm going to hit the Continue button. So we're going to continue to build our Zap. Now, here it says Test Your Trigger. We're going to head back on over to REI Rail and click the Test Connector button. Now, what it did was it actually sent data from REI Rail over to Zapier so that we can look at the data and choose the fields that we wanna to map to our Podio. So that's what just happened there when we hit that test button. All right, so now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna actually choose Podio, I'm gonna find Podio as my trigger app inside of Zapier. Now I'm gonna choose create item, I'm gonna hit continue, and all of my Podio account information is mapped inside of Zapier. So I choose my account, and then from there, I'm gonna choose the organization that I set up inside of Podio. You Podio users, you know what this is, my workspace. And then finally, I'm gonna choose the app inside of my Podio that I'm actually gonna send my leads to. Now that I've chosen my app, then the fields that are inside that app pop up. And now I can start to associate my REI rail fields inside my connector to the fields inside my Podio. So I'm hitting these drop downs. So you see I'm hitting property address and I'm gonna search through the list and find the city state, basically the property address um, from the contact that I sent from REI Rail when I hit that test button. All right, so we're gonna go through each of the fields and we're gonna choose the appropriate fields from our REI Rail data to map into our Podio. So like here, last name, I'm just gonna go down, I'm gonna choose last name that was sent from the contact inside of REI Rail. Same for here, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna insert the data that was sent from my test data so I can do this mapping and know exactly what I'm mapping here. I'm gonna choose the email addresses. Um, I'm just gonna choose the first email address. Even though I sent three, I'm just gonna choose email one. Um, and then here, the mailing address. I'm gonna choose all those mailing address parts, the city, state, the zip, the street address. I'm gonna map them in this field, build the mailing address from my REI Rail data to go into mailing address inside of Podio. And just gonna to continue to do this all the way through. I'm gonna set my source. Inside this app, I set a source called REI Rail, so I know where my data is coming from. 
Um, here I can actually even send my notes that I have associated with my REI Real Contact, send those on over the Podio. And that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to save this, hit continue, and, um, you know, I, I don't need to test it right now. I'm going to skip this test because we already know that data is being sent over. And I'm going to, I'm going to turn this zap on. I'm going to set it to, to on. And then once I do that, it's ready to go. And that's it. That's all I've got to do. And just to prove that it works, let's head on back over to RAI Rail and, and test it out. Now, remember I said connectors look just like tags. So we're going to go into a campaign. I've got a test campaign here called Justin Test Campaign. Let's go in the call activity, and let's just add a tag to one of the calls. All right? And you'll see here it pops up. S send seller leads to Podio, and it's the color red that we created. It looks just like a tag. I can even filter by this just like tags. Look inside of Podio, refresh, boom. There's my lead. Now let's head on back over to REI Rail and, and do it again, but this time we're going to send a contact. So I choose one of my contacts, and I'm going to hit the filter here and actually add the tag, my uh, send seller lead to Podio, and I'm going to refresh inside Podio, and there's my contact. So I sent both my call and my contact, and I open up one of them, and now you can see all the data mapped correctly. Everything looks fantastic inside my Podio, and that's it. That's connectors. So I hope this makes sense to you. Connectors work a lot like tags, except for the fact that you've got the added benefit of being able to send data out of REI Rail into your app of choice, your CRM of choice. And also, you get all of the functionality that comes with a tag. So you can filter your list by them. And when you do, you can hit the export button and only export what you've filtered in your list. So you get that added list management as well. Um, so those work together. And we thought that that was a neat way to make connectors work inside of REI Rail. If you have any questions, send us a note to support or even set up a demo with one of our fantastic customer success managers. This is Justin, lead engineer at reirail.com, signing out.